Hello guys, we're going to talk about a um, concept that is not in your textbook but is uh, very useful and we're going to use it a lot in the course. And this is the term approach, temperature difference. Okay. <clears throat> So what we're going to talk is about heat exchangers. So this applies to heat exchangers. Particularly closed ones. Examples of these heat exchangers uh, in this course will be the closed feed water heaters that we're going to find in ranking cycles. Okay, but it's not, they, 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 these are not the only heat exchanges. Other heat exchanges that we already studied are boilers and condensers. And even though this is a subject of heat transfer and that you will see in a different course, um, you may remember for your physics course that every time that we have a flow of heat, we have this general equation. Uh, this is the heat transfer. This U is uh, related to geometry, uh, related to flow characteristics and uh, materials mainly this area is a geometry and every time we will need delta t so if we don't have any any delta t uh, or qns so this is a, a fact that we need to leave in this makes every heat exchange very irreversible process. Now, let's think of heat exchanger. We're going to draw it here. And it's in the schematic of this heat exchanger. And we have two streams. This draw a warm stream or a hot stream in which we have this is the hot stream and we will have a second stream of cold water or cold fluid. Because of this temperature difference, we'll have a heat transfer. And this heat transfer will come from the hot fluid to the cold fluid. Um, so this hot fluid is decreasing its temperature. We change this again. This is inlet and outlet. So we have decreasing temperature. Well, in the cold fluid, we have the opposite, right? We have, this is our inlet, this is our outlet, and for the cold fluid, we have that the outlet, outside, outlet temperature is greater than the inlet temperature. We can also draw this in a different diagram. And this diagram will be something like this. The 
this is tempter and this will be the length of the heat exchanger we'll call this 0 and 1 this will be our hot end This will be the hot end, and this will be our cold end. <clears throat> so if we draw our temperature profile along the length of the heat exchanger, we'll see that the inlet of the hot fluid, let's say, it's here, and we're going to have a profile that we are gonna throw this way. It's releasing its heat and the one that is getting that heat from is the, the cold one. And look at this counterflow, so we are having something like this. Sorry. We have phase change, let's say. And we have something like this. This profile is arbitrary, meaning I'm making up. And we can see that we have two temperature differences. This is one temperature difference, and this is the other temperature difference. We will call either of these the approach temperature difference, and each of these points where we are defining, we will, we will call it the pinch point. In this case, the pinch point is the hot end and here the pinch point will be the cold end. <coughs> the pinch point is not necessary that it will be at either end is defined as the place with the lowest temperature difference. So this difference could be inside the, the, the pinch point could be inside the heat exchanger. In our courses, we are going to define in either side the cold end or the hot end. So basically, the approach temperature difference. is the difference between the cold and the, the, the difference between the two streams at either end of the heat exchanger. So let's uh, just draw a quick diagram of a situation. We're not going to solve it. We're just going to see how we can define. Let's say that we have uh, this refrigeration system, we may uh, study it in chapter 3 of the course. Uh, let's say that we have argon and this argon is at 6.5 megapascal and 20 degrees Celsius. So this is my inlet point. Comes, it goes to a heat exchanger, then to a valve, 
then this reduces his temperature as, as well as his pressure and um, I use this low temperature to get some heat removal and then I go to the very first heat exchanger This is my heat exchanger. And um, heat is going in um, this direction. Right? Okay. So if I define this, my first, my point one two, three, four, sorry, this is this is four, and this is five. I can define the delta T, the approach to the difference at the cold end, like this temperature. And let's say that it is 10 degrees. Then my temperature 5 is defined as T1 minus my approach. How do I get this? Because I know the approach is the temperature difference between the hot end and the exit. Okay, um, we're going to use this in uh, ranking gas power cycles and um, refrigeration. So next we are going to solve a problem on the ranking cycle where we are going to use the approach temperature difference so it gets a little bit uh, clearer. Thank you. Thank you.